Welcome to ERW's palatial new offices. We're going to talk about classroom. Come with me. The DOE recommends four classroom lighting. Energy efficiency, 120 lumens per watt. Teacher control of intensity, not just intensity, but color temperature. Balance, daylight and electric light. You must do this with CCT. Local and central control, meaning the lights are gonna turn off with a time clock sometime in the evening. The teacher has local control. Provide vertical and horizontal appropriate illuminance levels. If you got a whiteboard in the classroom or a chalkboard, <laughs> that's old, uh, you need to get vertical illuminance on that material. Okay, a step further beyond the DOE recommendations, cutting edge future proofing, we're gonna call it. Color tuning, we've got that indicated here. Using lighting to cue behavior. Again, we're, we're back to the DOE idea. Using lighting to cue lesson plans. Color quality, high CRI. We're talking about 90 plus here. Why is that important? Kids that don't know colors and you want to teach them a blah 80 CCT yellow? I don't know if that makes sense. In addition to how acute children's vision is, it makes sense that we would provide for them the best caliber of lighting they could get. 1% uh, dimming, another interesting idea here. App controlled lighting for teachers. Why not have more than just what a wall switch can offer, but a full cache of zones and or scenes that you could apply to your teaching technique. Okay, great, great idea, Jay, but it's gonna cost us way too much money. Can the classroom afford it? Not before Athena Wireless. We can do it now. We can meet all this criterion and we can fulfill this idea of future proofing. Future proofing. These are great ideas, but it doesn't stop there, right? We don't know what the next 10 years is going to bring. What we're offering with the new Athena wireless system is uh, cloud-based, and because it's cloud-based, we are offering updates with Athena, no charge to the end user. Okay, let's talk about cost. <clears throat> the biggest cost to the electrical portion of the budget is typically labor. What is the biggest problem with labor? Uh, the unknown, right? We don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost to install that light fixture. We don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost to install that lighting system, the lighting control system. And the terminations specifically associated with the labor are a critical element. So let's talk about a classroom. So a typical 20 by 30, 20 feet by 30 feet with a window wall, and we're going to do the same classroom down here. Identical 20 feet by 30 feet with the same windows. This is a 0 to 10 volt analog classroom. We've got, in a perfect world, again, we've got an indirect, direct, indirect two rows of direct, indirect, and a whiteboard. As we indicated on the other side, we're getting vertical illuminance on the whiteboard. So, what are we talking about? From a zone perspective, we've got daylight one with the window wall, daylight two. We got an ox sense, and probably an ox sense, and we got a whiteboard. Zones. Yeah, that one. Back to the electrical room. Daylight two. Back to the electrical room. Whiteboard. Back to the electrical room. Ox senses are turning on the general illumination. Back to the electrical room. We've got a presentation in its simplest form, the front fixtures are differently illuminated than the back fixtures. Two more zones, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. How about CCT? We'll keep it as simple as possible and we'll take the general illumination fixtures and we're gonna set the CCT 
Zero, 10 volt, back to the electrical room. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven zones. All of this wire, copper's not cheap anymore. In addition to every termination that goes into this process, this is a labor, uh, I'm not gonna say nightmare, it's typical for today. How about another system? How about Lutron Athena? Digital. For everybody who said, oh, Lutron, you have proprietary drivers and that sucks. I get it. How about now with Lutron Athena, you can use anybody's Dolly 2 digital driver. Same lighting layout. Two rows of direct indirect, whiteboard, save occupancy sensors, accents, accents, same window wall. Let's talk about zones. Same zones, we got seven zones. Running back to the electrical closet. I'm doing that slowly because one home run. And when we get here, we go, okay, we'll daisy chain this to this to this, to this, to this, to this. Occupancy sensors, done. We're gonna do all that programming for every one of those zones through programming, I just said it. Programming, one home run, less terminations. The contractor, when they see this, they say, yeah, we're gonna install this system. And even if the equipment may be slightly more, it's not tremendously more, it's slightly more, we're gonna win here with the labor cost. The other thing we're getting is this idea of future-proofing. That system, that Athena system, will continue to develop over the course of its life. No charge to the end user, it just gets upgraded. So if we get past what we have to offer here, in addition to this 1% dimming, Again, color quality, high CRI, that is a function of the light fixture, not the control system. But 1% dimming, yeah, digitally we can 1% dim. We can tune that classroom to exactly how the instructor wants it with a little bit of training with every one of those instructors. Athena Wireless, do it.